Oh, this is Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. I've just uh, found a slightly different and more comfortable way of speaking into the camera. It's a sort of variation of the old man in the chair. Um, I haven't been making any videos because I've been in fa YouTube jail for a couple of weeks. Uh, I was banned for uh, putting up certain videos, uh, usually relating to uh, the, uh, the disease that's supposedly spreading around the world and the, uh, the jab in the arm and all the uh, untruths that surround it. Uh, so I was sent and I got a couple of <coughs> uh, couple of strikes uh, so I've only got one more chance so um, yeah in the old days you used to get copyright strikes but these days you get strikes for uh, offending YouTube and going against their uh, community standards and it's all a bit of a, a lottery because you never know kind of when you're going to get a, a strike or or something or, and when you're not so you can say something fairly inflammatory or, or truthful and uh, it goes through and then at other times you post something and then you you just get hit with a strike so this is by way of uh, telling you that I'm going to keep this channel going uh, purely for things that are up till now are quite safe so I'll talk about uh, abrupt climate change. I'll talk about what's happening in the Arctic until that too becomes taboo. Uh, in the meantime, I will share with you in the link below uh, where you can find me. Uh, I'm on uh, two channels, one on Brighteon and uh, the one on Rumble. And that's not because I'm right wing. I'm not. Um, I don't think I fit the uh, the criteria, unless it's uh, uh, just the fact that I, you know, read and still love uh, authors like Dr. Zeus who have been who have been banned. <coughs> um, Dr. Zeus has not only been banned by the publishers, but uh, he's been banned on eBay where uh, people were selling his books at quite high prices so you can't get Dr. Zeus on eBay but you can get stolen goods and you can even get copies I believe of uh, Adolf Hitler's Mein Kampf. So that's a very interesting thing. So uh, I'll be putting a link, uh, the links um, uh, down below and that's where you can, uh, can find me and then I might just do the odd video just to indicate when and if I've done anything that I regard as important. Yeah, I do have a couple of things on my mind. Um, so one thing I can probably safely mention is that a paper has come out uh, which discusses extensive release of methane from the east of the Siberian Arctic. So this is becoming more and more of a thing. Uh, the, the title of the paper is Source Apportionment of Methane Escaping the Subsea Permafrost System in the Outer Eurasian Arctic Shelf. And uh, most of the authors of this seem to be Russian. So... That seems to be happening, and um, if you look at what Margot does, we're discovering more and more methane. She talks about, I mean, she's been following it for many, many months, the release of methane off uh, Komsomolets Island, and this is happening. Um, uh, in the middle of winter, we're seeing signs of uh, 
of melting and kind of refreeze, which gives an indication of the uh, parlor state of the ice, which is something that everyone is wanting to seemingly cover up because that's very rarely discussed um, and the audience is so small. But I think what concerned me was uh, a few days or a week ago, The Guardian came out with an article saying um, that the world needs to have lockdowns every two years uh, so that we can uh, can survive. So what that indicates to me is that uh, to save the planet, and that's and that whole idea of saving the planet is very moot to me because I think that we've passed various um, uh, positive feedbacks and so forth, and I think it's pretty much irreversible. Uh, we've had a lockdown practically for a whole year, and emissions have gone up, not down. Uh, so. I used to be, of course, my main concern was um, near-term human extinction, and uh, I still take it as a as a given that uh, whatever the uh, the time frame we're looking at, that's 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 uh, where we're headed. But my concern, more and more, has been about whether we can maintain our own humanity in the midst of the, in the context of this of this knowledge which has been so well uh, suppressed um, and the things that are being done in the name of saving the planet uh, from geoengineering to the great reset to uh, uh, even even universal vaccination is somehow caught up in this. We need to vaccine, vaccinate the, the whole population um, so that we can save the planet, presumably by killing half of us. Um, so that concerns me greatly. So I'm living with this knowledge that I've had for 10 years that we're headed down towards at least the destruction of um, of human civilization, if not outright extinction, uh, through what we've done, what's happening in the Arctic, and the changes, and it's not just going to be about kind of having more storms and and things like that, but it's the uh, the things that are being done in the name of saving the planet um, and everything it suggested benefits a tiny elite and promises slavery uh, or extermination even for the rest of us and I think I have quite a lot of evidence to back that up but I'm not it's it's all on my all on my blog just about every day uh, but I'm not going to present it here <laughs> for obvious reasons. Uh, so those are those are the concerns that I have. So I do hope that you will uh, have a look at my um, my uh, my other two channels. Some of it is is a bit political, and I find myself because the kind of liberal left, the so-called left, it's not a, not a real left, uh, is so dreadful and so full of lies that I find myself actually going to right-wing sources uh, for, for information. So it may seem uh, that I'm right-wing, but I'm not. So I made a bit of a, a mess up with uh, making a, um, uh, 
a recording, so I'm going to try and say it again. I was talking about how I don't regard myself as as right wing. I, I, I see it as a bit of a nonsense, really. But, uh, you know, the way I, I see things is that uh, in the context of everything falling apart, of us moving towards the collapse of civilization, uh, which is becoming clearer every day, if not towards outright extinction, the very idea of uh, human progress, uh, especially through these agendas that are being pushed largely as a dis distraction from things that really matter, are uh, absolutely meaningless. And I know what right-wing means. Uh, my brother, for instance, is, is right-wing, because I see right-wing as being somewhat like uh, uh, blaming others, blaming, blaming beneficiaries, for instance, for your woes, because you're having to pay high taxes, while at the same time totally ignoring the fact that corporations don't even pay uh, any tax. And that brings me on to something else. I saw something from uh, True News. Uh, Rick Wiles is seen as far right, but he came out with something the other day. He was talking about how corporations actually rule the world. And what needs to happen is that the wealth of, of Gates and Bezos and others like him should be confiscated and given directly to the poor. So he described it as using communism against the communists. Uh, and he, he said, you know, that the, the North Native American Indians and, uh, and the black people, uh, you know, they should receive reparations, but it shouldn't be coming from, uh, you know, from the uh, taxpayers' uh, pockets. And this actually, at the time, it received quite a right-wing watch, did a, did a sort of attack on him for this. But the response was to this was actually uh, quite positive, and say, oh, I would vote for him. Uh, so those are the strange days that we live in. Uh, so if you are socially conservative because of all the terrible things that are happening, then that makes you right wing. And yet you might be the most compassionate person on the planet. And the people that regard themselves as liberal or liberal left, I mean, uh, left, left wing has no, no meaning anymore. Uh, but those are, so, those are some of the least caring uh, and compassionate people on the planet. And they dare to describe, you know, people that have spiritual values, that, that uh, you know, that care about humanity as a whole and therefore don't go along with the ruling kind of uh, sort of paradigm. They're described as, as, as far right. I mean, it's just a complete nonsense. Anyway, <laughs> those are my thoughts for today. Um, who knows, I might even end up uh, uh, being platformed, deplatformed for, for saying this, but I'm saying them anyway. So uh, it's enough from me. Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under.